Good evening. Welcome to this evening's edition of the Vision Root video blog. I'm your host, Richard Urban, coming to you from historic Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I'd like to start this evening with a scripture reading from Acts chapter 4, verse 31. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. So that's our scripture reading for tonight. And our title tonight is, what is the hidden force behind the Trump movement? So that's that's our for, uh, topic for tonight. So I would say the hidden force behind the Trump movement is God, and I would say it's Jesus. But I'd like to Jesus as well. Much more specifically, say that God is working in very specific ways that maybe many people aren't aware of. But I'm aware of because I'm you know been working with the movement, so to speak, of God. So I'd like to talk a little more about that tonight. So basically there's a macrocosm and a microcosm. What do I mean? Well, on the macrocosm we see that, you know, freedom is breaking out around the world in different ways, like the movement toward the Brexit of Europe and people more understanding and researching what is true themselves, not relying on so-called mainstream media and CNN and all these lying folks like that. And, and the things I've been talking about like several times, like the claiming the Russians are behind all these, uh, behind the election uh, loss of Hillary Clinton, which is a pile of crock and so on. So what is this microcosm? Well, you may not be aware, but uh, some of you are. I'm a member of the Unification Movement. I was founded by Reverend Sun Myung Moon. And Reverend Moon um, was born in 1920, and he died in 2012. And um, the um, leadership was passed on to um, Reverend Moon's youngest son, Pastor Hyung Jin, or Sean Moon, and his wife. And they were basically kicked out, I mean, by Mr. Moon's former wife, Mrs. Moon. And so they had to, you know, have the tough choice to either go along with a basically a heresy, you should, I would call it, against what, you know, Reverend Moon had been teaching, the biblical teachings of Reverend Moon, the revelation of Reverend Moon, and they started a ministry in Pennsylvania. And very interestingly, Pennsylvania was a key state in the uh, a surprise state in the recent election victory. Well, that's not a coincidence. So let's uh, listen to this clip of um, Pastor Hyung Jin Moon uh, during his um, Kingdom Report, which you'll uh, hear in, on weekday mornings, six days a week. So let's listen to that now. She and the different usurpers <clears throat> elected to see and fight over the assets and the physical foundation, not realizing that the truth of the true assets which were God, His blessing, and His people, becoming prostitutes and slaves to a false Wealth. Heaven's blessing. Heaven itself, even God Himself, becoming totally desecrated. In that time, we had to step away from everything. We had to lose everything. We had to leave empty handed. With no foundation. 천장공을 나오면서 모든 것을 다 잃었습니다. 그리고 제 손에는 어, 아무것도 쥐어진 것이 없었습니다. All the financial security, all the wealth in the world, is not worth desecrating. Betraying my own father. 제 아버지를 어, 어, 신성모독하면서까지 so, 따라가기에는 어, 턱없이 부족한 것들이었습니다. I recall everybody 아무것도 아닌 것들이었습니다. Saying just to be patient and to go along with it. To try to hang on to the money and the wealth. And I said no as a man, as a martial artist, as a samurai, 
좋은 선한 남자로서 그리고 또한 이때까지 무술을 열심히 훈련했던 사람으로서 저는 그런 것과 그런 불명예스러운 것과는 절대 영합할 수 없다라고 저는 그런 것을 할수 없는 사람입니다. 저는 저 자신의 영혼을 그 누구에게도 팔지 않습니다. 그래서 저는 광야로 왔습니다. 모든 것을 다 잃고 How do you go on welfare? 어떨 때는 그 복지에 Obamacare and Obamacare를 all such things 해야 됐을 때도 있었죠. And my brother who stood with me at the time had his business foundation only left, and with that secured us a residence and. 그래서 그 형이 가지고 있는 그러한 기반으로 제가 어, 다시 어, 살수 있었고 또한 조그만 길을 시작할 수 있게 되었습니다. 그리고 이렇게 지금 그렇습니다. 어, 저는 정말 이렇게 4년 the world. 동안 어, 이러한 그 광야를 통해서 제가 Of world power. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go to the macro. The candidate that we supported on the macro, Michael, would go so, as you can see, there's a, a microcosm and a macrocosm. So, Reverend Moon's son was kicked out to Pennsylvania, but he stood up against his heresy against Reverend Moon. So, why is that important? Well, Reverend Moon was appointed or anointed by Jesus in 1936 to carry on the ministry work that Jesus asked him to do, specifically to continue or form the legacy of families that were connected to Jesus, really by blood to Jesus. In other words, Jesus asked us to participate in the marriage feast of the Lamb, and that's what Reverend Moon was doing with the movement that he has founded of the marriage blessing and families. So that movement is, has moved in the last two years to the wilderness, so to speak, of Pennsylvania, in Newfoundland, Pennsylvania, where Pastor Moon is leading his ministry. And it turns out that that was a crucial place also in the recent election victory, that Northeast Pennsylvania, that part of the state, turned out the votes that put Donald Trump ahead of Hillary Clinton. So that was part of the really the state. Um, they didn't call it right away, but that was the state that actually put uh, Donald Trump over in a big way. So that is really a hidden uh, movement behind going on behind the scenes. So I think it's incumbent upon the people of God as Christians, the need to understand the work that Jesus is now doing through the ministry that Reverend Moon has founded, that his son, Pastor Hyung Jin Moon, is carrying on. It's called the Unification Sanctuary. And um, so I think it's incumbent to find out and understand about that ministry. So tomorrow, not tomorrow, well, yeah, actually tomorrow, today is actually the 19th. On Friday, President Trump will be inaugurated. So this movement is, you know, has moved together with the microcosm that you see in Pennsylvania with uh, Reverend Hyung Jin Moon carrying on the work that his father started. And that's happening on the uh, macrocosm, on the larger level, throughout the world, and specifically with Donald Trump. So this is definitely the movement of God, but it's specifically working through those he has chosen. So it's incumbent upon us as Christians to understand this work and to support it. So I think there's different ways you can do it. Of course, work in the ministry God has called you to, but also understand that Jesus is working now to actually build his kingdom substantially on the earth. So... Pastor Hyunjin Moon teaches about the kingdom ministry. So Jesus' kingdom is not a kingdom after you die. It's a kingdom that has come here on earth. Jesus never said anywhere that the kingdom was going to come after he died. He's preaching the kingdom that was to come 
while he was alive on the earth. So that is the kingdom that we need to build now. So my specialty, personally, is to have kingdom building tools. So if you check out, one of them is a vision root. That's my overarching ministry, vision root ministry. If you check out the video blog, not the video blog you're checking out now, but the um, scripture blog I do every day. I share scriptures from the Bible and from Reverend Moon's words. And we have the opportunity to discuss there. So I recommend you sign up for that. Also check out the ministry of Pastor Hyung Ji Moon at the um, Sanctuary uh, Church Newfoundland um, website. I'm going to link to that at the end of the video here. You can find the videos there, the video reports, Kingdom Reports in the morning, and the Sunday services. I highly recommend those. And we have a ministry also of the Urban Grocery. What is that about? That's a business. But it's a business where you serve people and you can build the kingdom through your service to your community. Actually, we work with the same type of business founded by Reverend Sun Young Moon. And we've developed that a lot. It's now online. It's one of the leading internet grocery businesses for those who want to put their store or be an entrepreneur and have your own online business. So check that out. And finally, there's Urban Life Training. What's that? That is a ministry to help youth to succeed by remaining absent from sex for marriage and absent from drugs and alcohol. And we're going to have a conference right here at the, the Shendo River Youth Center in Harper's Ferry, March 18th. So I hope you will participate in that. Cosm and there's a macrocosm. So I hope you can participate and I hope you found this video helpful. So do be blessed and have a great evening. This is Richard reporting from Har Historic Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. Good night.